Hey everybody, I'm Cece and welcome to Brunch Bites. Now, if you're a brunch fiend like yours truly, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any brunch bite reviews or tips. Hey returning brunchers, welcome back for your weekly brunch review. Ooh yeah, pop quiz time. I know that you thought I forgot about pop quizzes, but uh, nah, I got a new one and it's fun. Which one of these choices is the name of the restaurant that we're heading to today? Welcome back. And oh, you thought I was gonna tell you the answer now. No, you gotta keep watching to see if you're right. So let's go get some brunch. Oh, and shout out again to Forbidden Planet for this t-shirt. Okay, look, this was not on the wall. This was actually in like a they have a little discount section, and this was the last t-shirt. This shirt is cooler than a polar bear's toenail, okay? Like I love this shirt. You can take the four, five, six, seven or S shuttle train to Grand Central. If you're feeling lazy, you can take the six one stop downtown to 33rd Street. Alrighty, it's just me today. Um, it's Sunday, so that means Wednesday at work, and Christina's unfortunately sick. So, uh, if you guessed correctly, it is the flying cock that we're heading over to today. So, it's gonna be in the Midtown area, uh, Midtown East, so uh, let's head on over. So all I did was walk straight down 33rd Street toward the FDR Highway until I hit 3rd Avenue. 3rd Ave seems to have a lot of brunch spots like Home Based Bistro and Handcraft Kitchen and Cocktail. This is your view from outside the restaurant. Here is your exact address. Your bunch bundle is going to be between $35 and $40. You have an hour and a half, and it's a la carte. Oh, you guys, it literally just turned noon, and this place is popping. I would suggest putting tip number one to good use here because they do strictly walk in and take reservations for parties of nine or more only. This is a first come, first serve policy restaurant. Lucky for me, since I'm solo, I found a seat at the back bar. Bellini, Mimosa, and Bloody Mary are your bottomless choices. Of course, Bellini first. Not the best, but still a good drink. I actually like the Mimosa more than the Bellini here. No olives for moi, however, I do like a good celery stick. I think Sarah would approve of this Bloody Mary. Now food. So crispy is what the menu says, but this is what I got. I still try it, but I wasn't thrilled with it, and one of the staff saw the grimace on my face and made me new bacon, and this was way better. My bacon should be crispy, I can make bacon bits. Oh yes, that's how I like my bacon, y'all. Don't mess with my bacon. My main entree was the Irish breakfast. This is my first time having this classic brunch meal. It includes eggs, beans, and a variety of meats, including black pudding. Black pudding is a meat blend of onions, pork fat, oatmeal, and pig's blood. Yes, I said it. I ate pig's blood, and it is pretty darn good. Okay, guys, that's it. Time for the overall experience. I absolutely loved my time at the Flying Cock. And oh, fun fact, they played Rihanna birthday cake for your birthday. So if your birthday is coming up and you love Rihanna, you might want to mosey on down there and, you know, get your little birthday cake. You know, cake, 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 cake. I'm very happy to say that the Flying Cock gets a score of 20. Okay, well, that is it for the Flying Cock here in Midtown East Manhattan. And remember to ask yourself, when was the last time you had a good brunch lately? I know I can tell you. Bye, guys.